Hello, this is Jay Rodman. Uh, welcome back to Bard's Tale 3. Today, um, we're going to be uh, going to the Violet Mountain and looking for a dragon. But before we do that, I want to make a few comments about items we found. I went and looked them all up. Um, just to uh, clarify the things that we found. The Thief Dagger uh, helps my rogue hide, which she does 100% of the time, so I rightly dropped it. The Shrill Whistle is a bard item that on use pushes enemies back. It's a Farfo in a can. I don't use Farfo enough to use an inventory slot on it and a fighter who have on a frontliner who has low um, available slots, so I dumped it. Uh, the Angel's Harp, which I'm keeping for now, and I, in fact you're hearing the lovely sounds of it. This is a regeneration in a can. It will resurrect and fully heal someone. Uh, I'm keeping that for now. That's Having another person in the party who's capable of doing that seems definitely worthwhile. And I think that's it for the special items that we got um, in the last session. So I'm gonna go. This this rock is supposed to be the uh, stand-in for a mountain. I guess we just don't have a mountain picture. Uh, we're at the base of a violet mountain. Do you wish to climb it? Yes. And I assume it's gonna ask me for a dungeon disc. No, uh, there are two dungeon discs, side A and B, and we are still on side A. Just pointing that out. How big is this dungeon? Um, pretty big. I think this is going to be like a two or three sessioner. Okay, so first things first. We have to make a new region, which is the Violet Mountain. I I feel like it should be like the the Violet Dungeon. I don't know if we're, are we actually supposed to be climbing a, a dungeon? It, it's really climbing a, a mountain, or did we go inside? If this is supposed to be outside, I I'm really gonna struggle with believing in that. Um, I'm gonna just start myself off at some random spot because I don't know how big it's gonna be exactly, and. I'm gonna start labeling. Zero, one, two, three, four, five to the west, and one, two, three, four, five to the east. I'm gonna be satisfied with that for now. And one, two, three, four, five north. Okay, uh, and then I'm gonna start copying down what the uh, what the auto map has spoon fed me. Wait. Oh, that's the whole thing with the auto map doesn't see everything you see. I can see this wall to the northwest, and the auto map does not. The overall sense I'm getting of what's due north is some sort of like great entrance hall. There sure is a lot of uh, a lot of free map information. I don't know I don't know. I guess I could imagine that the necropolis so like it's sort of weird you can imagine that you get a bunch of sort of free information if you could see over the walls right like if like these are you know uh, poison trenches or something like that and so you can see them but you can't traverse them and then maybe the game has to do some hand waving of you know, like, it doesn't have another w way to show barriers. They didn't do graphics for that. 
but this is this is different this is um they're they're out and out walls and you can't see through them but automap knows about them it's very strange but i am not going to extend the mapping time of the game by refusing to use this information i think i got almost everything out of this initial info down now so Which way this, were the stairs again? The stairs were down, which is not surprising. And we get a elaborate introductory message, which is par for the course. And I'm going to pause while I tape it up. The purple rock that forms the mountain is warm to the touch, a rough hewn tunnel extends forward a short way and ends in a solid but magically pulsing wall. I assume they're talking about this here. Uh, if we assume this is where that song about the dragon being entrapped by Hawkslayer, Hawkslayer again, so far we've encountered him or footprints of him in every world. Interesting. Um, it's almost like he's the hero and we're just tag-alongs. Anyway, presumably this is where he trapped the dragon, but I thought he trapped the dragon with a rock slide, not a magic pulsing wall. Okay, so this is, I think, well, could we detect stuff from the stairs? Yeah, the stairs aren't special. So there's a spinner over here. Uh, I don't think I even care to mark it. But um, the, the spell, a anti-magic zone is not here. It's up here somewhere. I'm going to I thought I clicked on that blue zone. I'm going to speculatively put it here. To the east we have a something. I'll, I'll get a firmer idea of where that is before I plop it down. Oh! 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 I stepped forward and we got teleported. So... We teleported from here to somewhere else. Eight north. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight north, and that's it. So we went from here to all the way up here. It's weird that the auto map doesn't want to show me the wall that's got commented on by the narrator. And there's a quiet zone over there somewhere. I'll just put something down. Oh, we're standing on a quiet zone among other things. Mm, that's frustrating from a notational perspective, but I'll just put down silence. Okay. Also a silence here. And also more silence to our west somewhere. And to the south, there are stairs. Uh, immediately south? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna put a stairs. 
So north there's an odd. I'm not gonna. Well, I don't know. Maybe I should be notating that somewhere up here there are odds. I don't know exactly where. Okay, so if I go, let's first put this wall down, and then go towards the stairs. Oh, and I got teleported again. Okay. Now I start needing multiple teleport indicators. I'm going to go with a red one. Where did you take me, Scry Sight? You took me to two north, one west. Here. So it's sort of more or less the way back. Let's go back to the normal color. And there's a wall to the west. This is if I turn north. Okay, we're in a little enclosed space, which matches more or less what the message suggested. Why can't I put this over there? Okay. I'm going to go south down this little dead end. And I'm going to go ahead and put the spinner down. It may not be in the exact position. Okay, so um, where to go next? I think I should try out this corner, which I've already pretended I've gone to. Oh, my light's going to go out. Great. Here, light back on. Okay, yet another teleporter. This one we can make... a vibrant shade of green. Yeah, I know this is colorblind hostile, but I'm hoping the tones are different enough. And truth be told, it's everyone hostile. They should have numbers on them or something, and this program doesn't have that, so that's just how it is. Okay, uh, that went basically the same place. And it makes me wonder what happens if I step in this corner. Okay, so we have a little, a little, uh, a little complex of redundant, um, oh, this is, this is the out, and this is the in. Yeah, if you step here, you go here, here, if you step here, you go here, if you step here, you go here, if you step here, you go here, so, um, I don't know, it's like some sort of little ping pong ball set. I'm tempted to just reject this manner of entering the place at all and try phase dooring through the walls and so forth, but... For now, I think I'm going to just see where it goes.
Okay, so... so I was just fussing, fussing with my timers. Which I keep forgetting to use. Something to the south somewhere. Ooh, a trap and something to the north. Something's everywhere. From here, I think I see three walls side and going north and turning west I don't see the odd that I guessed was there but then again I don't know if I've already stepped in an odd Agent Orange, a Haste Mage, and three Agent Oranges. Uh, so if I was a tree, I would be pretty afraid. Sorry for the jump there, I had someone come to the door I had to deal with briefly. So Agent Orange is gnaw. I sort of thought that what they did was defoliate. Ooh, an item. Okay, I'm not stepping on an odd, I don't think. Because I think I can detect a trap without with a, with a reduced sensitivity detection. But I don't think I can detect... I certainly can't detect odd itself. That's for sure. So this is at least up here. And we couldn't have detected from the darkness, but it must be up there. here so I can turn left to see if it's a trap is in this square before stepping on it. Um, skeptics and unbeliever. They seem like they should be good friends. Okay, so I happen to have the trap in the right spot. This something is not a hit point drain. Uh, speeding up time and waiting. It is a spell point regen. Uh, I'm pressing the wrong keys. I'm gonna just... Oh. Well, I thought I was gonna ditch the bad status effects for now, but there's a spell point waiver in this direction, so I guess I'm gonna hit them after all. From here, there's a silence. So right there, and I don't know whether the spell point, or the, the uh, anti-magic is in this butt or this butt, but we'll find out in a moment. In 
indeed, we have found out. Okay, facing south, two walls and then a hook. Everything's orange here. Let's try to pull in the mind mage. So the ogre's dead. Pulling in the mind mage worked. Uh, I'm gonna do a healing song. Pull in the unbelievers and wand them, which might be in the wrong order. Ooh, the unbelievers, are those like the hand behind its head or does it have like antenna, but they're like fleshy antenna. That's like more than a little creepy. What do they unbel what do they unbelieve? Do they unbelieve the world entirely? Somehow that's like I thought they would just be like we don't believe in some particular god, but now it's sort of like maybe they don't believe in any reality or something. It's I don't know, whatever. I'm not expressing it well, but it I got a C Cthulhu vibe from from that image. Ooh, that's a nice and clean Step forward, detect a trap. You should know exactly where it is. And if I can find the trap icon, it's there. Trap to the east as well. Um, I'm going to step forward recklessly. I don't know where the trap is, but I do know where the odd is. Well, if I knew where the level wrapped around, I guess I would know where it is. Okay, well the level doesn't wrap around anytime soon. So the odd is one, two, three, right over here. I should um, move the coordinates a bit, because the level's bigger than that. This is huge. I guess it's a mountain. We're under the mountain. I think there's another odd in the same spot. As, well, not the same spot, but my suspicion is there's an odd here. Um, Shade Warriors. These feel like easy street compared to everything else. Well, actually, nothing has really been very hard. I, I'm, I'm sort of just killing stuff. Sometimes it takes a bunch of rounds. I'm 
Well, a youth potion. Now that I have the Olay spell, I don't think that's very valuable to me. Yeah, I have the odd in the right spot because I can't see it from here. So I think our something actually turns out to be... Oop. No, 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 I don't know what you want, you're asking me that for. I must have been doing some wrong keystroke. Really? There's no something here? No, oh, there, there is. It's just, uh, there's another something further south. This one is spell regen. It is kind of weird wandering around these hallways and having them already mapped because the auto map could just presently, presently, whatever you say that, the foreknowledge. Um. Okay, so this location is probably not a special something. There's probably a special something down this way. And I guess I can check. No, this is a spell point regen also. that trap. Let's turn west, sense the trap again, and get rid of it. Okay, so this something is at least down here. And we just detected another trap, which I think is here. So we went in here and here, and then we detected the trap, and we're going to head out. So facing, let's check this again. Okay, so from this location, we can't detect anything. From this location, we detect an odd, which I will place down. And then stepping forward one more, it adds a spinner. And I'm starting to get suspicious that we're detecting... I think, I think we're getting close to the edge. Nope, not off the edge yet. This way there's an odd. Also detect it from here. So it's probably here. And the trap I was sensing, I think, is actually here. spinner down here somewhere. Boop.
Ooh, grave robbers. I wonder, somehow I feel like... I don't know. I, I feel like the idea of grave robber is thrown off by having a spell called grave robber. It's about reincarnating. Or bringing back to life anyway. It makes them seem unthreatening. Okay, so I feel like I missed a spell point drain spot, but I didn't miss this one. Definitely a wall over here. And I think there's walls all the way along the right hand side. But there is not one here. I don't know why I put that one in. So tricky, but I'm pretty sure that um, the spinner I placed here is actually here, and there's another one out here somewhere. I don't know how far. This was a misclick. Can, can I please remove my, my misclick? I would like to I would like to remove this. Okay. This was like another two by two room. Orange wizard. Everything is orange around here. I'm going to hit the Mind Mage because it did the most damage to me last time. Oh dear. Yeah, yeah, thank you for telling me that you're done encoding. Oh, and now I moved the map. That's that's excellent. Good enough for now. Okay, um I'm just gonna kill them with as big spells as possible. I think buying mages are universally women according to this game. What do orange wizards do, anyway? They summon Brothers Kringles, which fill up the available space. I think they also crit. So I'm going to do an armor song, and I'm going to attack the orange wizard. St stun. Uh, mine blade. Um, rhyme. Why did you miss, Elena? That is really not good. Okay, so this seems to be primarily what Orange Wizards do, is Brothers Kringle, which means it's useful to get rid of them 
before getting rid of other opponents. Because um, summoning Brothers Kringle does nothing if there aren't free slots. How about Far Death? Far Death on the one thing that makes sense to cast it on. Please just do so. There he goes, dead. A swindler. I I I kind of want to know what it does, but I don't want to get swindled, so I'm trap tapping it. I'm like thinking it maybe takes an item out of your inventory, which I do not want to experience at all. I think the only stuff that I'm really attached to is equipped. And so if I can't take that, it wouldn't be a disaster, but... I'm not 100% sure about... that, and I don't want to lose items anyway. Okay, so there's definitely a spinner here, because when I stepped here, the message went away. I think there's only the two. And actually, I am going to end this episode here because um, it's been about enough time and I have food to eat so I'm gonna eat that I may come back to this immediately I may come back to this in a bit this is I don't know so maybe it's, it's more accurate to look at the auto map I guess out of this is this is how much of this dungeon we've sort of explored Maybe over a third. I'll know better when I actually know how big the dang thing is. Uh, see you next time while we continue to explore the Violet Mountain. Looking for a dragon.